Now this right here, this is a situation that nobody wants to be in. And this is a situation that their parents don't want to see their child in. <sighs> Going in here, hear this man, my pops, give me the same old speech every single time. Yeah, I've done some dumb shit. I mean, who hasn't? It was already that same damn speech. I'm either gonna be dead or in jail. Hang around the wrong crowd. How I'm wasting my talent. You know the same old stuff, but to be truthful, I just didn't want to hear it. And the reason behind that I didn't want to hear it because all of my family was somehow, some shape or form, was involved in law enforcement. And they figured that I should fall in their same footsteps, but nah. I wanted my own life. I wanted to choose my own path. But the life that I live right now, I'm loving it. But my father said, it's gonna come to an end. And let me tell you, I think he was right. At this point, I took a couple of days off to figure out what my dad meant by that. As I start connecting the dots and see what was going on with the people I was hanging with, it's almost like my dad was forcing my hand. Almost like my dad was forcing me to make a decision. A decision to turn away from the streets. I mean, at this point, I'm thinking he might be right. And the reason I say that, the people I was hanging with, was getting 20, 25 years of life. And I definitely didn't want to go down that path. So, two weeks later, I had to hit up one of my closest bros that I grew up from the sandbox. And he practically said it straight for me. Now, he did understood that letting go the streets was something hard for me to do. He understood that part. But with the God given ability that I got, the raw talent that I have, I got to use it out on that field. No if and buts about it. But when it was all said and done, he hate to see so much God given ability go to waste. I had two choices at this point going to jail for life. Or been in that grave, so I had to make a tough decision. I texted my pops and told me meet me at a place and let's discuss my future. Cause at this point, like I keep saying, it's either 25 to life or in that graveyard, man. And I damn sure was gonna spend my life in prison, and I damn sure was gonna be in that grave. So y'all could put on someone up what my decision is or what it's gonna be. Now it's the start of my senior season and I had zero offers on the table. Yes, zero. But the decision I'd have made to get out there and use my God-given ability was damn sure was not gonna slow me down because my grind out there on that field, it was not gonna stop. I can play with the best of them. I knew that, but I had to prove that to the college coaches and universities. Now for granted, a lot of colleges shied away from me because of my past and I can't knock them for it. I chose to do the things that I was doing, but to make a decision, go out here and prove that I belong with the best of the best, that goes to show something. I'm dedicated, man. But like I say, they ever to give me a chance, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. You better believe it. And it was one week before signing day, and I had to hit up my bro Taj. Now he was already committed to North Carolina. I do this guy get props when props is due. My father. And bro ties, they was right. I had too much time at not to use out in that field. Won the state championship game. A lot of colleges came calling. So he was already committed, like I say. But for me, I had to make the right choice for me. Should I stay close to home? Or should I branch out? Now I got a few offers. Now I definitely want to appreciate every school that gave me a full ride. I definitely appreciate it. And for the schools that don't, well, you can go fuck yourself, pretty much. And payback is a bitch, I promise you that. But for the schools that offer me, appreciate it. And I got a lot to think about. I definitely want to make the right decision. Go to a school that's going to utilize my talent to get me to the next level. And I definitely want to see that playing field early. And that's one thing about Penn State. It gave me opportunity to get on the field early. Even if it's on special teams. And I could definitely see a lot of playing time early if I put the work and grind in. And y'all know by now, I'm definitely putting in that work. Especially when, especially when it comes to getting on that field. So I say, I got a week to think about it. But Penn State can look like the go-to leader at this point. Now I do got Oklahoma, 
Louisville, Arkansas on the table, but tell me, you gotta, I gotta wait. But I damn sure it's not gonna wait. So next thing y'all see me, I'll be out there on the field, man. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.